So guys, what's going on? I hope you guys are well. Hope you guys are staying safe. So guys, there are rumors that uh, Manny Pacquiao could fight Mikey Garcia and retire. I don't know some of you in the Philippines uh, whether you've got any more information about this or any more news, but I have heard that reports that Pacquiao could fight Garcia and then retire. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Is is, Ma is Mikey Garcia going to be his last fight? Now, um, I saw Mikey Garcia with Tyson Fury and Mikey Garcia said that they're looking at other options because it looks like the Pacquiao fight's in the air. So I don't know whether Manny Pacquiao is actually deciding maybe whether to hang his hang up his, uh, you know, hang up the gloves now without fighting. I don't I don't know, because obviously there's been a lot of speculation to Manny Pacquiao is going to fight. There's been a lot of talks about, you know, is it going to be, is it going to be Garcia? Is it going to be, is it going to be Spence, Crawford, McGregor, uh, Ryan Garcia? And unfortunately, there's not, there's not been any, there's not been any fight. There's not been any fight. So people are speculating, well, what's going on with Pacquiao? Is, is he considering retirement? And now there is talk about him considering retirement. However, there is talk about him fighting one last time. Now, is that one last time going to be against a Mikey Garcia? Um... I honestly think that Manny Pacquiao is not going to fight on that long now because I think he's been very inactive. He is getting on in age and I, I wouldn't be surprised if, if we hear that he fights Mikey Garcia and, and then calls it a day because I, I, I... And to be honest with you, if it, is, if it is his last fight, I would love to see Manny Pacquiao fight in the Philippines um, in front of his fans. That would be, that would be a great way to go. Uh, if I'm honest with you, um, I wouldn't uh, fighting in Saudi Arabia may do it for the money because obviously there'll be a lot of money there for him um, and there'll be a huge payday for Manny Pacquiao. But uh, Manny Pacquiao has made a lot of money. Uh, it would be a great way for him to go out in front of his fans, uh, in front of his own people that, you know, have loved him and seen him as an icon for so many years. And it would be sad if Manny Pacquiao decides to hang up if he doesn't fight at all. I, I, I do think there's I do think he'd probably take another fight. But I don't know. I don't know what's going on with uh, with Pacquiao right now. I don't know what what's whether he's what, what what's going on because we we there's you know there's rumors come out. You hear his manager come out and say Mikey Garcia, and then it just nothing develops. Is Manny Pacquiao? Is it Manny Pacquiao that's in two minds whether to fight again or not? I don't know. I don't know. Um, but it's been quite a while, and it looks like it looks like. It, he is considering retirement in the sense that, you know, he's, he's not considering fighting Mikey than fighting Spencer Crawford. Uh, and that's to me, is the right move. I don't really want to see him fight uh, beyond him, beyond his years, really, because you don't want to see someone like that get beat to a guy that, you know, you think in his prime he would have beat. Um, and I think Manny Pacquiao is past his best. Uh, he's been out the he's been out the ring for a very long time. So. I wouldn't mind a guy like Mikey Garcia, who's a solid guy, who's a top, top fighter still, but a guy that I think he can beat. And that would be a great way for him to finish his illustrious, you know, illustrious career. What a career it's been. He's a legend. Manny Pacquiao is a legend. Uh, there's no two ways about it. He's an all-time great. And he will go down as one of the greatest fighters of all time. So if he does retire... You know, Manny Pacquiao will go down for me as one of the all-time greats. He will go down as one of the all-time greats. Um, and I, be I believe that I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't even mind if he decides to call it a day and retires altogether um, and just doesn't fight at all anymore. He does because he doesn't need to. He doesn't need to prove anything. Um, I know some of his fans want to see him fight. And as a fan of Manny Pacquiao, selfishly, I want to see him fight. Uh, but we don't know what where he's at, his mind frame. We don't know where what his mind where his mind frame's at, and we just don't know right now. You know, I wish Manny Pacquiao nothing but the best. I think he's I think he's been great for boxing. I think he's been an iconic boxer where you know he's he's really helped transcend the sport popularity. You know, in terms of taking on the best. You know, I think Manny Pacquiao is definitely an example of what the fans like to see from a fighter. You know, the Floyd Mayweather is an example of somebody that, how it's great for a boxer to be a bit, you know, great for a boxer to have longevity and make shed loads of money. Um, 
I think Floyd Mayweather's career is a lot better in that sense. But in terms of what the fans and pleasing the fans and having an exciting style, I think Manny Pacquiao definitely tops all. If you're a boxer, you definitely want to have, in terms of business-wise, Mayweather's career. But if you, if, you want, if you want to please the fans, right, then definitely Manny Pacquiao's career is definitely a lot more um, attractive um, to the fans because like I said he took on all comers and didn't care jumped up multiple weight classes you know lost a few times um, but the fans don't care about that the fans care about seeing you in great fights I do think that the culture in boxing now has changed I think when people see two or three losses on your record they think oh he's lost two or three times you know and some of these old 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 guys like Pacquiao you know, I've got eight losses and many other guys like Marquez got many losses. Miguel Cotto's got about six losses. You know, many great fighters have got many losses, but yet they're still very respected. It's because of the competition they took on. It's about the going in there, fighting anyone, ducking no one. And unfortunately, the, the culture with these young uh, boxers have changed where um, it's now about protecting that. Oh, it's now about, you know, being undefeated. As soon as you have a, you lose that, oh, the marketability goes and... I don't really like that. I like a boxer that's willing to take the risk, that's willing to take on the best. Uh, old doesn't mean anything. And I, I think as boxing fans, we need to change because the culture since Mayweather and Mayweather being undefeated, that the emphasis on that O is so important. It's so important. Like if you lose that O, oh, he lost. He lost. You know what I mean? He's not, he's not the top. He's lost. Losing is part of sport, man. It's part of sport. When you take on the best, look, Sugar Ray Leonard and that, they lost. Robert De Roberto Duran lost. Tommy Hearns, Marvin Hagler, they lost. That doesn't mean that they're not legendary and they're not great. All greats lose. In any sport, they lose. You know, you, when you're facing stiff competition, competition that's tough, you're going to come unstuck sometimes. You're not going to win all the time. And that's why I think boxing fans, the mindset needs to change. And we need to go back to the old school mindset where you know a loss is on the record don't really matter especially it, it, like it, it does matter if you're a guy that consistently keeps fall, uh, f uh, falling short at the top but if you're a guy that's won world titles were unified and you're taking on the best and you've got multiple losses it doesn't matter because you've already showed that you can get to the top and win winning a world title is the, the ultimate for any boxer right if guys can go and have you know longevity and in terms of winning multiple world titles at multiple weight class that's a bonus that's that's legacy breaking that's legacy stuff right but winning the world title is the ultimate anybody that reaches that level right generally 90 percent of the time is because they're top draw they're world class right now going beyond that winning world championships at multiple weight classes unifying divisions at multiple weight classes that's le that's legacy stuff that's hall of fame stuff that's that's um, elite level, elite, the elite, the best of the best, you know, but multiple losses, as long as the best are fighting the best, for me, I haven't got a problem with fighters taking losses, and Manny Pacquiao is an example of that, I've got losses on his record, has, because he fought on all comers, he fought the best, he wasn't afraid to fight anybody, moving up weight classes, he fought everybody. He's left an unbelievable legacy, Manny Pacquiao has, when he does eventually decide to retire. He's definitely, for me, one of the greatest. One of the greatest of all time, without question. And I think when he does finally decide to hang up his gloves, um, it's going to be upsetting because, I, like I said, I got into the sport because of him. I got into watching boxing because of Manny Pacquiao. And, you know, Amir Khan, as I said, but Manny Pacquiao was somebody that really, his fights, because when Khan came, he wasn't at the top level, Pacquiao was at the top level. And I remember when, when Khan went over to train with Manny Pacquiao, I started watching Manny Pacquiao more. And because his fights were obviously very high level at that point, Khan was still a guy that was wake, making his way to the top. Pacquiao was fighting guys like De La Hoya and he was fighting guys like Ricky Hatton and, um, you know, Margarito, uh, Cotto. And I remember all those fights. And I remember watching them and I was like, wow, I was just like, I, I was like amazed by how good he was. I remember going to college and speaking to a few people about Manny Pacquiao and saying, Manny Pacquiao, man. And I was like, he's fast, ain't he? I remember. And at that time, I, I would say I was more of a casual fan. I wasn't really a hardcore fan. I was more of a casual fan. 
But I remember it was like 2009 time, 2010 time when I was at college. And I remember when I was, I remember going um, to college and speaking to a few people and, you know, and just being amazed. And the other, the, the, the friends that I had at college, they were also in awe of Pacquiao. He was, a, he was a, honestly, Pacquiao at that time, I remember what people, people just thought this guy was unbelievable. In 2008, 9, 10, you know, 11, the guy was, the guy was something else. Manny Pacquiao was an unbelievable, and you know what, and it's crazy to think, sometimes I think to myself that time has flown by, and I'm now, what, 28? We're in 2021, and I can remember 13 years ago. I can still remember 13, I can still remember the 13 years ago when I was in college, um, Actually, 13 years ago, I would have been in school, probably around 11. No, sorry, it must have been about 2010 time. Um, because I would have been about 15, yeah, 16, 17, 17, 17, 16 to 18 at the time when, I, when I'm, you know, going to college and speaking about Pacquiao. Yeah, but Pacquiao was honestly, he had a big impact, not just, and I, I can't imagine what it would have been like in the Philippines, but even here, I remember people that were into boxing were so much in awe of Pacquiao in the UK. Uh, with what he was doing and how fast he is. And I remember, I remember everything. I remember everything really well. Um, and it's going to be sad when he finally does decide to call it a day because obviously you're not going to have those big nights. And Manny Pacquiao, like I said, is an iconic boxer. And there's not many fighters out there that have that kind of appeal that when they're fighting, that they have so much attention on their shows. And it's such a big event when they're fighting. There's very few boxers out there now that have that kind of, maybe Canelo, like we've seen with Canelo Saunders, how big it is. But that's about it. Canelo, maybe Anthony Joshua, uh, Tyson, you know, but very few, few and far between. And Manny Pacquiao is going to be one that was one of those fighters that had that kind of appeal that's now going to eventually call it a day. And listen, it's not far away. Even if he does fight again, you know, it's, it's, it's probably going to retire after that or maybe another fight. And then it's not long now, probably in the next year. We may announce his retirement, um, but yeah, when he does when he does eventually announce his retirement, um, he he will be remembered as one of the greatest ever. Manny Pacquiao will be remembered as one of the greatest fighters of all time um, because of what he's done, eight division world champion. And I don't think we'll ever get to see, you know, the word great and the word iconic gets around quite easy. But I think it's. Definitely words that, you know, re definitely, in my opinion, these are words that, that should be used for someone like Manny Pacquiao. You know, what he's done in the sport, how many people he's inspired. Um, yeah, uh, I think he'll be remembered as one of the greatest ever, if I'm honest with you. I think probably one, probably top 10, top 5, wherever you want to rank him. For me, Manny Pacquiao will be remembered as one of the greatest of all time, of all time. And I know people like to debate and stuff and his resume is unbelievable. When you go through his resume and you see the, the guys he's fought and how many multiple weight classes he's jumped, yeah, without question, without question, he will be one of the greatest fighters of all time, all time. Um, but yeah, if you've got any news about when Manny, what, what, what's going on with Pacquiao, is he going to fight again? What any news? You guys have, I know I have a lot of subscribers from the Philippines. Let me know in the comment section below. Also, guys, I just want to give you an update. I will be going live for the Canelo Saunders. Uh, I'll be doing live commentary on my channel at 2 o'clock in the morning UK time. Uh, so make sure you tune in for that. And guys, remember to please like, share, subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.